Hi there. Welcome so much back to Ramosa TV. If it's your first time watching me, uh, do me a favor by subscribing if you haven't done so. We are heading to the goal for 3K subscribers. So today in our video, we'll be talking about the scholarship to study in New Zealand, funded by the New Zealand government scholarship. And for this one, it accepts applicants from 130 countries and every country has a maximum of five applicants or five winners. So making or offering a total of about 650 scholarship candidates or winners who are going to win five from every single country. For the course detail is for both undergraduate or bachelor's, master's and PhD to study. So the undergraduate is someone should do the course from three years to four years. Postgraduate certificate, maybe six months. Postgraduate diploma you can do for one year. Master's degree you can do one year or to two years. For PhD to do for 3.5 years you can do the duration for the study. The coverage is full funded so they have a flight ticket. They give you a full tuition fee covered but you got the living allowance for the New Zealand dollars about 491 per week. Establishment allowance you're gonna be tipped maybe New Zealand as New Zealand dollars 3000 medical and the travel insurance will be given also but also they allow you to travel home during your scholarship depending on your course universities and the state but also research stipend for those who are going to be doing research universities you can see over them they are listed eligible countries have been grouped and the application so differs depending on where which part of the this group are you coming from so they got the people from Pacific countries over here, Pacific countries. We got people from Commonwealth countries like Bangladesh, India. You see, we got people applicants from Asian countries. You can see the Philippines. You can see from African countries. We got Angola, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Tunisia, Ghana, Kenya. We got Caribbean countries. We got Antigua, Jamaica, Latin America countries, Brazil, etc. About eligibility, you should be from those eligible countries, but you should, they say you should stay at home, meaning that during the application period, you should be applying, be in your home country. But also work experience according to your studies and age, if you're applying for those maybe who graduated, who they have their bachelor's degree and you're working, so the work experience according to the studies and age, but for high school who are applying direct for undergraduate, there's no need of work experience unless you got the volunteerism and other stuff. But also you are intended to start alliance to your academics and your country, the benefits and why the department you are choosing, like the proposal, you know. Deadline varies depending on the country. Now we are on our official website, the official website for the New Zealand scholarship or New Zealand government scholarship. As you can see over here, the link will be on the description box below. So check over here, you can come here and start following up. So you can, you need to read over here. Countries have been grouped into group one, where you see also group one have been eligible country grouped maybe into A, B, C up to U, Z. And we see here the group one, they can apply online. So you check your country if it's available over here. I can see my country, Tanzania is available the, according to letters T available group two is kiribati so kiribati over here the application is a bit different they need to go through papers application through the new zealand high commission and much more you can read much over here so they have a unique process with paper form group three is samoa foundation the application is just online group four is commonwealth countries unique process with paper form so let's check this unique process of the paper form how does it look and it will go also with the kind for the online and we see that so over here when you come first before applying you need to select your region to find your application process so over here if you are coming from pacific countries and you want to apply to study in new zealand or pacific you want to apply to pacific universe so let's see if the first one so over here when you see like pacific countries you just come here, eligible citizen, down here, scholarship for Pacific countries, apply online here, click that, and it will bring you over here. So because we are applying as a new applicant, we need to confirm the eligibility, and we go on, we can click on the, here, click on here, external link. 
and click here the external link and it will bring you over here so over here first before going on to apply you need to because there is no part for registering so before registering now step one we need to check your eligibility or then step two check for for the account if you're eligible so click here check eligibility and will be tested here by choosing the country which you are coming from so for me this case i'll use tanzania as an example and the request you the date of birth i'll try to put roughly yeah then click next then because you are testing the eligibility you'll be asking some sample of question are you a citizen you can answer those you can answer by december you can answer are you currently serving military terminated no then you confirm after you confirm check my eligibility then they'll send us this you can see you are eligible you need to take this code so you can keep the email and send them or click register after you have copied it now you need to type your email after type your email check email then you need to fill your personal details over here for the registration and after there we'll be registering that's how you you can apply for the pacific also you can come if you want to apply to pacific universe you can see to apply online you click over there but now the application hasn't opened yet will be open of this mid of february when you come asian country so for asian for asians the application has opened already you click to apply online and for african countries scholarship are open click here to apply for caribbean scholarship open to caribbean click here to apply for latin americas is open click to apply over here for commonwealth countries over here is a bit different because the application goes to through the managing the nominating agency you don't apply directly online and tips for completing the paper application need to write it in english legible handwrite you check your work and keep the answers concise and don't cheat or plagiarize plagiarize so but for this one let me show you here Cl click on this one near the pdf so you can see the commonwealth countries you need to get nominated from the nominating agencies and you can see the countries listed over there, like bangladesh is ministry of education the address listed over there so the application should be submitted to these these nominating agencies belize you can see guys your countries if are in commonwealth cameroon dominica swatin fiji Ghana, Grenada, India, Jamaica, Kenya also is also there. Kiri, Kiribati, Lesotho, Malawi, Malaysia, Mauritius. You see Nigeria, Papua New Guinea, Ireland, Sri Lanka, Tanzania also is also among those countries. Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, College of Business and Law. So the application should be submitted to these. And you can come here, Tonga, Zambia, yeah, and that's it. So for this for this scholarship, for the people who are applying from these Commonwealth countries, for you in order to be eligible, in order to win this scholarship, you should be you sh your application should be submitted to this one because you cannot apply online. Or even if you apply on online, but they'll be considered only people nominated from the from the nominating agency. So no matter how you your application need will be, but the names coming from these nominating agents are the one who will be considered for the scholarship. So try to apply by checking the deadline. You can go. You can go if we if you are, if it's Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, College of Business and Law. Go on Google and search over there about the info if they have updated any information. Ministry. You can type Ministry of education as for the info majority of them might not since in yeah, new zealand february 7 yeah this one was post posted already updated so you can scroll over there 
let's try and see from the website yep so you can see guys from they have been posted on the official website all the website links you can click from there directly and it will bring you over here which is the page for the ministry of which is a nominating agents for candidates who are applying from Tanzania so you can see the call for application about here the eligibility they have been added more like on the application where and there like your okay, applicant age must be 39 years of age or younger at the time of commencement uh, and also applicant should apply to institution in New Zealand to study over there uh, then applicant will be required to provide the evidence of proficiency in English language you can see extra requirement have been demonstrated then the mode for the application list of participating universities you should check including eligible kind application process and detail the link is available over there then the applicant should fill the application form in english neatly you write it using black or blue pen employed the applicant you should attach the letter from the employment confirming that if granted scratch will be allowed to utilize it then the application form is here we're gonna download it but before that the areas of specialization this is very different it's very important because it varies between countries to countries so they've been given so you can see applicant all applicants should align with the following topics depending the when you are when you'll be proposing about your future and other stuff climate change and resilience resilience food security and agriculture renewable energy and good governance but if your future plans or what aren't uh, basing on development of these kind of stuffs and other stuffs, you can bring your own specialization area, but you should be able to defend it. Why and how and the other and why not this one? So to be strong to support, you should have VVD supporting or proving what so concise. You know, guys, how we're gonna do it then. The applicant you can see now must submit two sets of complete field application form, then certified copy of birth certificate, certified copies of academic certificate and transcript, certified copy of passport page of biodata, and two referees letter. So the deadline you can see now is 28 February. But this was posted last year, wasn't updated in 2020, so at uh, 7. PM. You can see the address all listed over there hasn't been up updated yet So let's try and download the form and see because this the application is, isn't online So it's manual should be uploaded should be submitted This document and application to where to the nominating agency in, in your country. So for this is Tanzania So let's see the application form. So the application because it's tertiary so that means it has to pass through a third part. That's why a third part. So when you get nominated from these places where you are applying for for nomination you'll be surely guaranteed to get the scholarship. Yeah. So when you come over here we start filling the form with you step by step. It is no longer again online. It started online but now we are offline because the submission should be going offline. So, but for those people, their countries just accept online, not in Commonwealth countries, will go and do that online. So, I'm a citizen. Over here, this question is just supposed to say yes or click not applicable. So, I'm a citizen of a eligible country, yes or not applicable, postgraduate. You see the question, you say yes or not applicable. Yeah, so your profile, personal detail, your first name, last name, date of birth, email, preferred name, optional. If you got two names, three names, first name, put first name and, and middle name. And here the gender, the address where you're living, the village, country, the additional information, the phone you should select if it is for home or mobile with you or for work. And the second, I do have a dependence that would accompany you. Maybe if you got the kid, that would accompany you, yes or no. What did you hear about here? You choose about where you had, if it is social media, or etc. Then the scholarship application form now. We can hear preferred study program. You can list the first choice, education institution, qualification major, which you want to apply to, and the sector proposed to study. And that the second choice also, you can choose over there. And propose the research also you can choose over here you you write mean mark character of limit of 250 
words on the summary of the research outline you can see how can this research be applied to the development as well by those topics which you you have to stick at you should be based over here do you research any required guys the question you see over there the study history over here awards publication if you got any qualification one name of the qualification if you got education institution have you completed what is a funded what is was this is study funded when you are doing maybe that yes or no scholarship name if you got any when you are studying qualification two if you have you put over there study was this study funded every when you talk about your education achievement was it funded or no work history for those for work history as we said when we are starting related to the field and for those who are applying for masters that means you got maybe full time or part time but they said at least of one year and if you are employed to bring also the letter uh, from the your employer brief describe here the delegations you can read the guys a lot a lot it is a real hard task to describe the work of organization and development relevancy skills and knowledge you hope to gain from your proposed study of program when you study in new zealand you should list over there what this area of the skill import to your country development why how will it help develop and other stuff will you use your new skill to contribute to development yes try to prove it by doing what and we come to the relationship you can describe here about the major what what action did you take to develop the relationship etc self drive oh, describe this way when you had to motivate yourself and what did you take to motivate yourself questions guys question and answer study overseas tell us why you selected new zealand based on their culture their education level their improvement etc the weather sometimes you know yeah all the historic history binding maybe between the country that the country you understand and the u.s the, then last part is about declaration you confirm you check these declarations that you have declared and understood then the immigration website this are just contact and yeah countries where countries depend on theme and the sector to base at you can see are listed uh, tanzania should base on food security and agriculture or renewable energy based on the climate change and environment good governance governance uh, like you are do public police public management and for caribbean you can see over there for asian you can see the what you should base and pacific you can see they are scrolling down fiji the same kiribati the same different nauru you see the countries are listed over here so if the field which you understand maybe isn't over here for example let me come let me see here for example for tanzanians because maybe if someone wants to to do maybe if it's something related maybe to medicine maybe to health and is not listed here you should be able to prove how it could help you know other stuff on so those other questions where you'll be answering based on that topic to prove it but if you are not sure to prove it stick on what you have been asked so other country you can see glossary and explanation you can see much of the explanations guys over here I don't need to read for you more on the website to where to visit to apply you can you have, can see i've been provided to this application user manual guide so that's how the application is done so it's very quick and best wishes for both of you applicants though this was the for the last year model but for this year they haven't up updated yet but make sure you apply before the deadline so visit visit and visit most of the websites which are important to you know the deadline and the criteria and the university you research which you wanna apply to make sure you choose the one which you see your marks are a little bit nearly eligible to get accepted to best wishes and i wish to see you in new zealand